More than 2,400 miles of power lines and utility poles weave across Carteret Craven Electric Co-op service territory, connecting members in a strong network that delivers energy to homes and businesses. This infrastructure is a visual representation of how CCEC is connected to local landscapes, but our commitment to the community runs deeper than poles and wires. For more than 80 years, Carteret Craven Electric Cooperative has been a bedrock of our community, providing safe, reliable, and affordable energy to its members and much more. From the 444 residents of our area who came together to form the cooperative, to the nearly 40,000 residents and business owners we serve today, the cooperative has grown, but its core values and its mission and vision remain the same. We are owned by those we serve, and we are governed by co-op members just like you, not far-off investors. We exist solely to serve cooperative members, not to make a profit for outside stockholders. We're accountable to you because we're local. Our directors and employees live here. Our children and grandchildren go to the same schools. While we are focused on keeping the lights on and keeping costs down, we have a stake in and commitment to the economy and the well-being of this community. That motivates us to do more. Investing more in infrastructure gives you higher reliability. Caring more about watching the bottom line keeps your bills affordable. Listening more to your needs guides us in meeting or exceeding your expectations. Giving back to our community keeps us connected. Our employees understand that they work for you. And we understand that by listening to and working with our members, we create a partnership that delivers maximum value. That's why our customer service representatives go the extra mile to provide you the answers you need and solve any issues you have. Our line crews feel a strong sense of urgency when there is an outage, working as quickly and safely as possible in all kinds of conditions until power is restored to all the members they are dedicated to serving. Our engineering and operations team works each day to improve our distribution system and keep it strong. Our management and staff constantly strive for new ways to improve service and reduce costs by offering options that put you, our members, in control. Like our online payment system, PowerPay24, our Connect to Save smart thermostat program, our time of use rate, and our prepay program, just to name a few. Giving you the tools you need to make informed energy decisions helps you better manage your family budget or business. Because we answer to you, we're more nimble and able to respond quickly to the changing needs of our community. And because we are not-for-profit and powered by our members, we share any excess revenue with you. Over the years, we have returned more than $52 million to members and former members. Your investment has kept us strong and has allowed us to employ state-of-the-art technologies that help us run more efficiently while keeping our system and your personal information safe and secure. We have deployed tools to help us monitor our system and help you save energy. Our automated metering infrastructure streamlines our billing, detects problems at your home or business, and provides data that helps guide our maintenance work and construction. Our integrated outage management system keeps us, and you, informed. Your investment also keeps us well prepared when disaster strikes. In recent years, we have improved our storm response capabilities in many ways. We have expanded our warehouse of materials needed for power restoration, constructed an on-site fueling dock, boosted our radio capabilities, and increased our contract and line crew teams so we are ready to respond. Even though we're locally owned and operated, we are part of a larger family of electric cooperatives across the state and nation that share the same guiding principles. And there is power in numbers. We work together to develop new technologies, buy electricity, and invest in renewable resources. We assist one another during major outages through coordinated deployment of manpower and equipment. We share education and training opportunities and work together. By working together, we are creating a brighter future for all of our members. Because of you, we can do more. Better electric service at the lowest possible cost. Member service that genuinely cares about your needs and robust community investment that benefits us all. Carteret Craven Electric Cooperative was built by the community, belongs to the community, and continues to be led by the community. We are powered by our members.
Hello everyone and welcome to your 2021 annual meeting. Once again, we truly regret that we don't get to meet with you in person, but we are doing what needs to be done to keep us all protected until this pandemic is over. I am Ben Ball, president of your board of directors, and I represent District 2, which covers members west of Highway 70, including Hibbs Road, Roberts Road, and Nine Foot Road, and along Highway 24 from Dutch Street Mobile Home Park west through Gales Creek, Broad Creek, and Bogue, up to the eastern limits of Cape Carteret. Now I'm going to let the other directors introduce themselves to you. Hello, everyone. I'm Dee Irby, and I represent District 1. The members in Cape Carteret, Cedar Point, down Highway 58, including Pelletier, Stella, and all the way to Maysville, and of course, a portion of Onslow County. Presently, I'm the Secretary of the Board, and I would like to thank you so much for joining us for our 2021 virtual annual meeting. Greetings. I am Jim Schmidt, the newest member of the Board and I represent District 3, which includes cooperative service areas in Craven County, including Havelock, Highway 101, Adams Creek Road, and Lake Road near the Carteret County and Craven County line. Hello everyone, I'm District 4 Director Fred Fulcher, and I represent members in Salter Path, Indian Beach, Pine Knoll Shores, and approximately 1,500 meters in Atlantic Beach. Thank you. Hello, I'm District 5 Director Amy Locke, and I represent members with homes, businesses, and properties within the town limits of Emerald Isle. I've been serving all members of our co-op for three years, and I'm currently the board's assistant secretary. Good evening. I'm Doug Falter, representing District 6. For those of you living north and east of US 70, from Moorhead to the Carter County line, and those of you that live west of the Intercoastal Waterway, Long 101 to the county line. Thank you and God bless. Good evening. I'm Anthony Nelson. I am vice president of the board and I represent District 7, which includes co op members east of the Intracoastal Waterway, or should I say, down East Carter County. It's an honor to serve our member owners. Thank you. Stay safe and God bless. Hello, I'm Tom Styron past president of the Board of Directors and representing District 8, which is the entire co-op membership at large. Good evening. Thank you all for tuning in. I am Alvin West, treasurer of the board and District 9 director. I represent the entire co-op membership. Each year, three director seats are up for election. This year's seats were districts one, three, and four. The incumbent directors were nominated by the nominating committee on February 18th. Members of the committee were Polly Johns, Chair, Pat Metz, Don Bacolo, Cindy Myers, Janice Young, and Zachary Brewer. There were no challengers to the incumbent directors, D. Irby, Fred Fulcher, and Jim Schmidt. They will be formally reelected at the May 24th Board of Directors meeting. The Co-op's Credentials and Elections Committee is responsible for the registration of voting members, determining if a quorum is present, and overseeing the election. Members appointed to serve on the committee were David Bryant, Maxine Carter, Clark Edwards, Paul Ganey, Ron Howard, Sam Jones, Pam Mizell, Sheila Moore, Bob Peoples, Joanne Riddle, Luther Toodle, and Abby Young. Thank you all for your service. Last year, directors Doug Fulcher, Anthony Nelson, and Alvin West ran unopposed. The 2020 board secretary, Anthony Nelson, cast a single vote at the May 18th board meeting to re-elect the incumbent directors as provided in the bylaws when candidates are unopposed. Your directors are very proud to serve you, and we take seriously our responsibility to help guide the cooperative on a path toward a brighter energy future that continues to provide safe, reliable, and affordable electricity and to innovate energy solutions. Part of our role is to watch over the finances and report to you each year our financial position. Last year, the cooperative had revenues of close to $68 million and served 41,362 accounts. We connected 750 new services, which is 220 more than we connected in 2019. Interesting to note as well is that for the first time ever, we have more lines underground than overhead, with 1,204 miles of overhead line and 1,216 of underground line. 
Another part of our finances, and a piece that is unique to cooperatives, is our capital credit program. As a member of CCEC, you are also a part owner. We don't have shareholders like for-profit companies. And unlike an investor-owned company where stockholders receive dividends, electric co-ops operate at cost. We maintain a portion of margins, capital credits, beyond day-to-day -day operations to offset the cost of debt to fund plant expansion. When capital credits are retired, the money is returned to you, our members, based on your years of membership and annual energy use. Last year, as the COVID-19 pandemic unfolded, we were acutely aware of the financial burden many of you faced. With that in mind, we examined our financial status and voted to return a total of nearly $5.6 million to you, our members, and former members. Unlike other years, we had two capital credit retirements in 2020. The first came in early May and totaled $3 million. The second retirement of $2.6 million was returned to members in August. Giving back is also something many of you do through your monthly contributions to our Operation Roundup program. By rounding up your electric bill to the nearest dollar each month, you have truly blessed many in our communities, like members needing emergency funds to pay their electric bill, buy life-saving medications, or start a new life free of domestic violence. A, a number of years ago, when we made the decision to address financial needs of people, we went through a long process of looking for organizations that would provide funding uh, to address those in poverty. When you do the kinds of things that we at Hope Mission do, of course, it takes a lot of money to do that. So we began looking for organizations. That was probably 10, 12 years ago, and through that process, we came across Carter at Craven Co-op and the work that they were doing in their Roundup dollars, and it helps to provide one of the homes that, uh, w that we use for our homeless women. And then we address our homeless men, and then we have a large contingency of Meals on Wheels about 40 to 45 families, that number vacillates from time to time, of homebound seniors that can't get out. And our kitchen prepares the meal, volunteers take it out, and they get to talk and pray with and encourage those who are homebound seniors uh, who are often overlooked. Then our thrift store, there's one word that we don't use in our thrift store. It only has two letters in it. It starts with N and ends with O. We don't say no. We say thank you very much. And then with all the all that funding, we continue We have in our substance abuse ministry. Between 35 and 45 uh, alcoholics and addicts live with us for six months at a time. Doesn't cost them one penny. And within that, we meet every need they have. If they need a doctor, we get them to the doctor. If they need a dentist, we get them to the dentist. If they need clothes, we provide clothing. We provide, we provide every need. And it's because of the help that we receive from Carteret Craven Electric that we're able to fulfill our vision here at Hope Mission, which is to serve others with many hands and one heart. Your contributions, which are never more than $11.88 a year and are managed by a foundation made up of co-op members like you, have also put food and other necessities in the hands of needy school children so they can be nourished over the weekends and holidays. years ago, um, a group of people really felt in our community that we were called to um, feed the kids in the community that we know are um, not getting what they need on the weekends. So this is what we've been doing. You know this. We've been doing that in this place for the past 11 years. Well, about five years ago, I heard about a grant, an opportunity through Carteret Electric Company, and I thought, I'm just gonna give it a shot. So I filled out the application, I sent it off, and I thought, okay, Lord, if this is meant to be, you'll open this door. And I, I will never forget, I remember going in there and I told them what we were doing. Um, I told them we were feeding their students in, in Carteret County and Craven County. And the next morning, I got a phone call from Sarah and she said, you got the grant. What they do, what that foundation does, what you do by saying yes, it's amazing. 
To continue to fund our education programs and to help fellow members in need, we need every one of you to participate in Operation Roundup. If you are not rounding up your electric bill each month and want to help, give us a call at 252-247-3107. Again, on behalf of your Board of Directors, I want to thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm going to now turn over the meeting to CEO and our General Manager, Jake Joplin. Thank you, Ben. Operation Roundup is truly a huge benefit to our community. The Foundation is passionate about education, awards, grants, and scholarships each year. Our Bright Ideas program for educators provides grants of up to $1,000 to fund innovative projects these teachers could not provide otherwise. And last year, the ideas were truly innovative as teachers scrambled to find ways to engage students in both virtual and socially distanced classrooms. Amanda McCall's bright idea provided STEM kits for Moorhead City Elementary School. Students and their families have been checking out these kits to complete at home, and they have been learning science, technology, engineering, and math concepts, as well as literature. Bogue Sound Elementary School teacher Jason Van Zant, a five-time grant winner, has been teaching his students about hydrophonics and alternative ways to grow food, using a system set up in a greenhouse at the school. His proposal was a top scoring application this year and earned him recognition as a Tar Heel Teacher of the Week, sponsored by both Bright Ideas and UNC Sports. Since 1994, grants totaling $536,000 have enhanced learning for more than a quarter million students in Carteret County and Havelock schools. Some of these students are among those awarded college scholarships provided by Operation Roundup. Each year, the foundation awards up to $4,000 in scholarships to five college-bound high school seniors who live in households served by the cooperative. Now, if we were meeting in person, we would honor this year's scholarship winners and introduce them to you. While we can't publicly give them the accolades they deserve, please go to our website at ccemc.com backslash scholarships to meet this year's recipients. As Ben said, we wish we could spend time with you face to face and let you meet these scholarship winners. But like you, we have adapted to changes necessitated by the pandemic. Just as we are all looking forward to a better tomorrow, your cooperative is focused on a brighter energy future. Just like roads at rush hour, the electric grid experiences moments of high traffic or demand. Following the principles of supply and demand, electricity is most expensive when demand for it is greatest. Connect to Save is a way we can work together to lessen demand by minimally adjusting your thermostat during these high traffic times. This small action multiplied across thousands of homes will create big savings on wholesale power costs and expenses for the entire cooperative membership. As a CCEC member, you can purchase a smart thermostat for as little as $25. After purchasing your discounted thermostat, you will receive free professional installation. Members will receive a $50 incentive each year they participate in Connect to Save. In addition to helping reduce demand, smart thermostats allow members to take control of their energy usage. By using the scheduling features and mobile app, you can make sure your home is always at a comfortable temperature while maximizing savings. Many of your friends and neighbors have already enrolled in Connect to Save. You can join them by visiting connecttosavenc.com. Another way we are ensuring a brighter future is by boosting resiliency on our system from our offices to our equipment on our lines. When we think resiliency, what comes to mind most often in our business is storms. We have taken on several projects at our offices to make our facilities more resilient and our storm response more efficient. In 2019, after the effects of Florence and Dorian, we installed a fuel dock at our main office and expanded our warehouse capabilities to keep more storm stock on hand. Last year, we completed construction of a 200 a 65-foot radio tower that enhances our AMI and communication capabilities. This year, we have been replacing the aging roof at our Newport office with more storm-hardened materials. The pandemic brought its own set of challenges, and we made improvements at our office to protect our members and our employees and adapted safety protocols for employees inside and out. 
These are just a few of the projects at our facilities. We are boosting resiliency across our distribution line as well. We will be replacing transformers at three of our substations, and we have purchased additional vehicles and trenching equipment that allows our crews to work more efficiently. We are upgrading power lines and transformers to better meet seasonal demand and growth on our system. Some projects like replacing aging equipment are ongoing, much like our right-of-way maintenance program. The maintenance plan is an important part of providing reliable service, minimizing outages, and enhancing safety for our members, employees, contractors, and the public. Fallen lines and branches are a major cause of widespread power outages during storms. To minimize future outages, we will be conducting a vegetation management assessment this year to take a deep look at how we are doing right-of-way maintenance and where it can be improved. To learn more about your cooperative and our brighter future, go to our website at www.ccemc.com. Now, are you ready to find out if you are a prize winner? Let's wait no longer. Those eligible for prizes are CCEC members who returned the registration card that was included in April's issue of Carolina Country. Well, now it's time for the prize drawings. Today we have with us Miss Kinley South, daughter of uh, CCEC employee Josh South. And uh, go ahead, Kinley, take it away. So the winner of the electricity is Donald Clark. And the winner of the free truck is Nickeling Skybo. Congratulations to our winners. We'll be contacting you tomorrow. Have a great night. <laughs>